How to release anger. There is a lot of anger on the planet right now. Well, there is always anger because anger is part of us. It is part of being a human. So we always have anger within us. But there are a lot of people on this planet right now are getting triggered and therefore getting very angry, frustrated. So before we get into how to release anger, let's first understand and talk about what is anger. Anger is an emotion. Everybody knows that. But what we haven't been taught in our lives, in our schools, is that anger is energy. Every emotion that we feel, that we have, whether it's anger, whether it's happiness, joyfulness, whether it's gratefulness, whether it's grief, whether it's sorrow, every emotion that we feel is energy. Every emotion has a vibration, has a frequency. And so anger is an energy. And it is a normal part of being a human to feel anger. Just as it's normal to feel happy, just as it's normal to feel grateful, just as it's normal to feel sad, anger is also a normal part of being human, being humans. But it is only when we allow these emotions, which are lower and heavy in vibration, when we allow these emotions, these frequencies to remain within us for a long period of time, that's when they start to affect our well-being. And our well-being must be the most important thing for us, shouldn't it? For if we do not have well-being, we have nothing, no matter how much money we have got, no matter how many family members you have got, no matter, no matter how many friends we have got, no matter how much material things you've got. If we do not have well-being, we cannot enjoy life to the fullest. And that's why well-being must be our prime importance. And in order to know that, how to keep our, ourselves well in a state of joyfulness, most of the time, we must understand what we are, what energies we are, and how to use these energies for our benefit. So anger is an energy which is really intense. And that is why <clears throat> we have the desire to fight. 
when we trigger this emotion within us. So anger is something which is inbuilt in us. It's already, it's always there. You cannot do away with it. You cannot say, I will never be angry. <laughs> yes, you can say that. And it's very good if you can do that. But even then, when we don't get angry, anger is still within us. It's, it's still there. There's, these are like buttons. Joyfulness, anger, sadness, grief, happiness, gratefulness. All of these are like buttons that are inside of us. And we trigger whatever life situations that happen around us we get these buttons pressed and that's when we are reacting to life situations and when we learn to stop ourselves from reacting to external situations that's when we learn to master these emotions And so anger being one of that. And anger is an intense form of energy. And so when it may be something that has triggered you, it may be somebody, it may be some external situation, whatever it is has triggered anger within you. Now pay attention to yourself that <clears throat> If you are angry in life most of the time, every day you are angry, whether it is towards your partner, towards your children, towards life, towards your job, and you may hold them responsible for your anger, because you may say that it's because of you I'm angry, because of what you've done, because of what's happening in the world. So you may hold all of these external situations, other people responsible for your anger. But if you are angry a lot of times, or you are angry almost every day, if you're angry very often, then it only means that you are triggering your anger all the time. You are activating a lot of anger within you all the time. And so, when you stop holding others responsible, other people, other situations, responsible for your angry and start looking inward, Start looking at yourself that I am triggering my anger that exists within me because of these external situations of people and therefore I need to learn how I can release this energy, this emotion how do I release this intense energy from within me so that I can feel lighter, so that I can feel better? And so whenever you feel angry, it is not the other that has created the anger for you. You are triggering that anger within yourself. You are reacting to a certain situation or to another person. And the reason why we want to react to other people in um, the ways that we do when we're angry, when you're angry, you want to go and fight or people go and shout or, you know, have a quarrel, shout at each other, fight with each other. Because the energy of anger is very, very intense. And we don't like to keep it inside ourselves. Try keeping anger within you without taking out, taking it out onto another. Try keeping it within you. 
it's almost impossible or make you feel like you're boiling inside. It's like holding on to anger. It's like um, the feeling you have is like a boiling pot. You take a pan, fill it with water and boil it. Put a lid on it. As it starts to boil, it is automatically going to overflow. You cannot hold it down with the lid. You cannot keep it inside the pan, the boiling water. It has to spill over. So that because the boiling water is very intense, it's, it's bubbling, it's intense, it's strong. So it will push the lid off and the water will overflow. So the energy of anger is very much like that. We cannot hold it down. We cannot keep it inside ourselves. We want to just release it. And that's why we take it out onto others. That's why we shout or we fight. That's why people do that. But that's only because we have never been taught how to release that energy correctly. And so that's what I'm going to share with you, how to release that anger energy. So there is one way of doing that. The first way I'm going to share with you is by using your breath, which I call the release breath. So whenever you feel angry, you feel that intense energy building up inside you and you feel the need to shout at someone or take it out on somebody else. At that point, just stop. Just stop yourself and take yourself away from that space. If you're angry with somebody, step away from that space. If you're angry because you're watching TV and listening to the news, step, step away from that place. Turn the TV off. And just take yourself to a place where you can be on your own. It could be a room. It could be outside. It, could be, it can be anywhere. It can even be a bathroom. <laughs> anywhere where you can... Just be with yourself. So you can use this technique anywhere, whether it's in a workplace, whether at home. All you have to do is just take yourself to a quiet place where you can just lock yourself in for a few minutes. Yes, just two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. And so you're feeling really angry. So you go into this quiet place for yourself and just do a big exhale. <sighs> through your mouth, all the way out of your belly, because all the anger energy is held in your belly. So just do a big exhale. And inhale through the nose, all the way to the belly. And again. So you can do this three times. You can do it five times, seven times, nine times. However many times that you need to do. Depending on how angry you're feeling. But three times is generally quite enough. So if you, as you've done this three sets of release breath. And then you sit there. Just closing your eyes. And gently breathing through your nose. In and out, very gentle. And just saying to yourself, I don't have to act out in anger. I can deal with every situation in a cool and calm manner. I don't have to shout. Even if it's somebody who's triggered that anger and you you don't have to go back and do the same thing. 
because you are doing this for yourself. Remember this. When you are calming yourself, when you are releasing the anger out of your system, you are doing it for yourself, not for another. So even if it's somebody who has triggered that anger in you, and if you react with anger, either you hold it inside you or inside yourself, or you take it out onto somebody, you are only damaging yourself. So when you are releasing the anger energy correctly, you are doing this for yourself. Because ultimately, everything we do may be triggered by another, but it is for ourselves that we do. And so you just calm yourself for two minutes, three minutes, and say to yourself, yes, everything can be dealt in a calm and cool manner. I don't have to go and shout. And then you go out and face the situation in a cool and calm manner. And you can deal with the situation a lot better when you are calm and you're not reacting from a place of anger. And when you are releasing your anger through your mouth, remember this is energy. Energy means it will remain there. It will not just disappear until you give a direction to it. And it may stay stuck there in your room, in your bathroom, wherever you've been. The energy will remain there. And we don't want that being soaked up by yourself or someone else. And therefore it's important to say, I release it into the light. So you're releasing the anger into the light because light cleanses and purifies by burning it off, alchemizes, it transmutes anything that is heavy in vibration is transmuted and turned into something lighter, cleansed and purified and sent back to the universe. So it's important to say that I release it into the light. Because when you release it into the light, you're not allowing that anger and energy to hang around. You're alchemizing it, you're transmuting it. So it's remember, remember to do that, it's important to do that. And then when you've done that, you brought yourself to a calm place and you've released that anger instead of acting it out onto somebody. And then the second way you can do it, you can release anger energy, especially if it's extremely intense. If you have an ongoing anger, lots of anger, against somebody or some situation. The next uh, method I'm going to share with you is to write it down. So write down everything that you're angry about. And don't mince your words, just be absolutely honest with yourself. Because this is not about the other person or the situation. You may be angry at somebody it's not about the other person this is about cleaning yourself out so when you're feeling those emotions of anger those words of anger that's coming in your head perhaps towards the other person but it's really about yourself you are generating those words within yourself those energies in those words you are triggering within yourself and anything that is not high vibrating, or most people call it positive and negative, but I prefer to use the vibrational language, which is higher frequency, 
high vibrating and low and heavy energy. So high and light or low and heavy. So all those emotions that you're feeling when you hold anger towards somebody are heavy and low vibrating frequencies. And so instead of going out and saying those things to the other person and also those words that you are thinking about inside yourself, you are triggering within you is low and heavy and if you hold it inside yourself it's only going to make you very frustrated in the long run because that energy is going to trouble you inside. They're just going to stay there and trouble you inside. So you write it out, all out, whatever it is that you're feeling, whatever words that come to you. And some of the words may seem harsh to yourself when you're writing and you may think, oh, I don't know if I should be writing these words. You start to feel guilty or you start to feel bad towards that person or whoever it is that you are writing about. But it is not about the other person. Remember this. It is not about the other person. You are not saying this to the other person. It's about cleaning yourself out. So if it is harsh words that you're thinking, write it out. Don't hold back. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad. Just write it out, whatever it is that you're feeling. Every word that comes to you, be absolutely 100% honest. Write it all out onto the paper and it's got to be hard, real paper. Not on your phone, not on your iPad, but real paper. And then when you're finished writing, you then take it outside in a safe space and you burn it and allow the winds to take the ashes away for you to be cleansed and transmuted so what you're doing here is that when you're writing you are taking that energy the anger energy out of your system onto the paper so you've taken it out of your system and transferred it to the paper. And then when you're burning the paper, you're burning that energy away. The divine fire is cleansing it, purifying it for you, alchemizing, transmuting it for you. So it's turned into high vibrating energy by the universe. Because you don't want to keep this energy lingering in your house, in your living space. Once you've written it out, you've taken that out of your system. And that energy is on the paper. You don't want to keep it. You don't want anyone to read it. And also you don't want to keep this energy, which is not high vibrating. You do not want it to linger in your house, in your living space. And therefore... You take it outside, burn it, transmute it. And that's how you release anger energy from your system. Take it out of your energy field, out of your body, onto the paper, burn it, let it go. And you feel light. And I'm going to share one more way, the third way you can do it to release anger from your system is by grounding, by connecting with Mother Earth. So again, if you're really angry about a situation or a person, take yourself outside, somewhere outside in your garden. If you've got a garden space, if you haven't got a garden, go out for a walk in an open area, in a park, in the countryside, in the fields, in the woods, wherever you can find some green space. Take yourself out there. Sit connected to Mother Earth. Sit on the ground connected to Mother Earth. Or if you cannot sit for whatever reasons, then you stand with your feet firmly planted on the ground. And again, do a release breath. 
releasing all your anger into the light and you can do three sets of that and then once you've released that you focus, bring your attention, bring your focus onto the ground, your feet or your body that is connected to Mother Earth and you allow the energy of anger from within you to go down through your roots, through the soles of your feet into Mother Earth and just sit there or stand there, eyes closed and allow that anger energy to drain out of your system completely. Imagine yourself as if you are a bottle and uh, you're just pouring it out as if the bottle hasn't got a base and therefore it's just pouring it out onto Mother Earth. So feel that anger energy going into Mother Earth and just Feel that strength in that connection. What happens is when you send your anger energy down into Mother Earth, she has the power to cleanse, purify and transmute all energies. She turns everything into gold. You know how when you put any rotten materials or any poo <laughs> on the ground and let it rot down it becomes manure they all become manure they turn into gold for plant life and when we feed it into to two plants that's when the plants thrive so mother earth has the ability to turn everything into gold and so when you're sitting there or standing there, connecting to Mother Earth and just releasing, allowing that anger to just go down, just let it flow down. Imagine yourself to be a bottomless bottle and just let it flow down into Mother Earth and she is cleansing, purifying, alchemizing, transmuting all of those anger energies and turning it into pure gold and just stay close your eyes and stay there for a few minutes allowing yourself to be completely cleansed of this energy so these are three ways that you can free yourself from anger energy release The thing about emotions is that, as I was saying earlier, that we have all of these emotions, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> we have the happiness, the joyfulness, the gratitude, the hopefulness, the excitement, passion, compassion, all of that feelings. Then we also have the sadness, the guilt, the anger, the shamefulness, all of that. So all of these emotions that we go through, they're all part of us. You cannot remove them from you. It's part of being a human. But it's only realizing, being aware. And that's the difference between living an unconscious life and a conscious life. When you live a conscious life, you bring your awareness to your emotions. What is it that I'm feeling? Immaterial of whether it's being triggered by something else or someone else outside of you. Immaterial of that. Bringing your awareness to yourself. What is it that I'm feeling? And when you bring your awareness to yourself, to your emotions, that's when you can pay attention to what is it that you are transferring if you are angry if you're angry you're transferring anger to others if you are sad you're transferring sadness to others if you're happy you're transferring happiness to others 
So whatever we are vibrating, whatever emotions that you are triggering within yourself and holding it as you, and making it your energy field, your, your vibration, that's what you are vibrating and that's what you are transferring. And we don't want to transfer anger. We don't want to transfer sadness. We only want to transfer love, joy and peace. That's the way it must be. We must transfer on the high vibrating frequency to form a network of love, joy and peace on this planet. And the reason we have been transferring a lot of anger, a lot of fear, a lot of sadness on this planet is because human beings haven't been taught how to release these energies without transferring to each other. And that's why anger is one energy that people transfer onto one another because you can't hold it inside you, that intense energy, you just want to take it out. And what happens when you take it out is that you take it out onto another person and either that person will take it out back onto you, transfer it back to you. And so you end up in a row, in an argument, in a quarrel, in a fight. Or that person will transfer it to someone else and that someone to someone, to another, to another. And you see how we can have a chain reaction of connecting, transferring to each other these anger energies. And we do not want to be doing that. It is time we stop transferring these energies. It is time to start learning how we can release these energies instead of transferring to one another, learning to release these energies, learning to release anger, sadness, fear, releasing, transmuting, alchemizing, and only transfer love and joy and peace to the planet and to everybody around us.